I'm Mike, welcome back to Re Motorcycle. Now, you know from my other video where I visited Ride Like a Pro. Yeah, that's 18, maybe less. And if you go to Ride Like a Pro, you get some cool stuff. So you get a, a Ride Like a Pro patch, a Ride Like a Pro booklet. There are diagrams of the exercises. And it shows you here where to put cones and all the measurements between the cones. So I came up with this. And on here on this paracord, little keychain labels. So the first one is nine feet, and I think the next one is 12, there's 12. I looked up all the different measurements and I figured out all the different spots I needed to have measured out. So here's an 18. Average parking space is supposed to be nine feet. Allow me to demonstrate. The nine landed right in the stripe. So these are true nine foot parking spaces. Now I've verified that these parking spaces are nine feet. So now, if you don't want to use cones now just to do like U-turn practice or circle practice, now you're done. Now you've got, you can measure the depth of it with it. I think we're 18, so we'll see here. Let's get the 18 footer. Okay. Da, 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 da. This is not rocket science. Here we go. There's our 18 in the back. And I mean, it's got a little curve to it, so you kind of go, okay, pull it straight a little bit. Yeah, I mean, this is about 18. There's about 18 feet between these. So now I know I have an 18 foot box. Sweet. You should be able to do circles in the 18 foot box, right? I put, I put these big, big cans out here so you can see easier. The cones are really small and hard to see on camera, but um, without cones, you have nothing to fear about hitting anything or whatever, so you just, set up and, and practice. If 18 feet's too small, do three spaces and try to work your way down. The point is, you use this paracord as a super lightweight. The largest is 34 feet because Jerry's got 34 feet on the uh, offset cone weave. So the largest dimension I have on here, the longest is to 34 feet. But look at, that's it. It can fit in your hand, the whole thing. Right? Done. I just tied knots at the uh, points and then zip tied the tags on. So that's an easy, easy idea. It costs about $4 or whatever. And I can keep it on the motorcycle all the time. Keep it on the bike all the time instead of having to grab a tape measure or have something else. Now I know what you're thinking. I wanna set up the, the intersection. How do I set up the intersection? The intersection is 24, feet wide, the, the turning sections are 24 feet wide and they're 34 feet deep. Okay, so what you do here is on your back edge, you do 24 feet. So you start with a corner, wherever you want the corner to be, 24 feet to the next corner. So this is 24 feet across here. So I've got this marked here, and then you go 34 feet the other way, that way. Nice going, cameraman. So there's your 34. So then you do the same thing, you move it over. Then you gotta turn the corner. Okay, 34 deep. There we go. You just repeat it until you get back home and you'll have four legs that are 34 deep and 24 wide. So with 12 cones, you can make the intersection. No problem, all right? Maybe get some friends, do a little uh, road rally. Okay, I think you got the idea. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you subscribing. I see you new subscribers. I'm excited to see you here. I mean, can't wait to show you what's next. For now, get out here, make your own practice course, and uh, enjoy. We'll see you soon. Disclaimer, this parking lot happens to be where I work. And so I have permission to be here. So if you have a parking lot that has that level of accessibility to you, I recommend that.